Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and I am super excited because today we have a free plugin for you called Divi Library Shortcodes. And this is a plugin that we actually originally developed back in 2018 when we launched our Divi Mega Pro Mega Menu plugin. And uh, it'll make more sense why uh, we did that in a second here. But Divi Library Shortcodes is a free plugin when you subscribe to the Divi Life email list and it will generate a short code for every item in your Divi library. And so then you can take that short code and drop it anywhere around your website. So for example, you can put it in sidebar widgets or your footer widgets. Uh, you can put it in Gutenberg blog posts if you're using Gutenberg for your posts or probably the most popular use for Divi library short codes is to take that short code and put it in other Divi modules. And so you basically get a module within a module effect with the help of Divi library short codes. And so this is uh, really useful when you're using modules like the toggle module or the tabs module or the slider module or the accordion module. All those modules have just a simple text box for you to add content. So you don't have a lot of flexibility. It's very limiting uh, and it's not that powerful in terms of design and content that you can add and, and layout. Um, and so what you can do instead is use Divi library shortcodes and then create content using the Divi builder and take that short code that Divi library shortcodes will give you and place that inside of the text box for those modules. And so I'm gonna show you some examples here and show you how incredibly powerful it is. Uh, so it's very exciting. So uh, here is the release post for the Divi library shortcodes plugin. Um, and so uh, you might already be on this page, but this basically just gives you a rundown of what the plugin is and uh, how to get it. And so I'm gonna show you the demo site here for Divi Library Shortcodes because we have some really cool examples here. So this right here is a, a pricing table section, but you'll notice we have a pricing toggle, build monthly, build yearly. And when you click it, it changes and shows the different price if the hypothetical user were to pay monthly or yearly. Obviously this is just an example. And so this is actually the t a Divi tabs module uh, with two tabs, one for monthly and one for yearly. And then inside the normal text box, which normally you'd just be able to write text and that's it. Um, and, but instead of just simple text, we dropped short codes that, will dis that are displaying this pricing table. And there's two pricing tables, one for each tab and uh, for monthly and yearly. So we have really cool. We have a module within a module right here, which is awesome. So that's the first example. And I'm going to show you the back end here in a second, but let's go through the other examples. So in this section here, it's uh, from uh, a default Divi layout coaching or, or fitness or something. And we have um, what looks like a button, but it is actually a toggle module that we've customized with custom CSS. And when you click it, it toggles for, uh, a four column layout with the person module in each one displaying the coaches in our hypothetical uh, website here. So that is the toggle module. Again, using custom CSS, just like we did up here. The, so normally the tabs module doesn't look this good, but we customized it uh, with some CSS to make it look like a pricing toggle and same thing here. And then for our third example here, same thing. Uh, this is really common with restaurants. We've all been on restaurant menus and we're trying to look up something, maybe it's on a mobile phone or uh, on a desktop computer. And so you're, you're, you end up scrolling through a huge text uh, with all the different parts of the menu. And then um, rather than something like this, which is pretty popular too right now, which will break down the menu into different parts, whether that's you know entrees, uh, appetizers, desserts, whatever, or different parts of the menu like lunch menu, dinner menu, breakfast menu. Um, so this is obviously very common these days. So in this example, it's a donut shop that also serves coffee and also serves fresh squeezed juices. And so we're using a tabs module with three tabs, one for donuts, one for coffee, one for juices. And then in that, rather than just simple boring text, we're dropping the Divi library short code, which will then display, uh, it's a two column row with um, blurbs, blurbs all the way down for the menu items. And then on the right side, we have this image here. So we have that the same, we have it consistent across all of the different menus here. 
So very, very cool. That is with the help of Divi, Divi Library Shortcode. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give you a look of how it works on the back end. So I'm gonna open up the Visual Builder on this page here. And then I already have the Divi library opened here. So this is what it looks like. When you activate the plugin, you it'll create a column here for Divi library shortcode. And now you can take this shortcode and place it anywhere you want. And it's gonna display whatever that library item is. So really, really cool here. Um, and so let's go ahead and open this first one. So it's not loading all of our CSS. That's why this pricing table looks a little bit different here in the visual builder as it does on the front end. Um, so inside of this this um, tabs module, uh, we have two tabs. We have monthly and yearly. So when you open up monthly, here is the text box that Divi gives us by default. But instead of just having to write text and uh, if you're, you're really determined to use uh, custom HTML to style stuff, um, we're dropping a short code here. And then this short code corresponds to the layout in the library, which is this one here. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for you so you can see. And it is nothing more than a Divi pricing table that's been customized to look this way. And then when it displays on the front end, it gives you that really cool effect with the tabs module like it's a pricing toggle. So it's the same thing for the other, the build yearly has the short code here that then corresponds with one from the Divi library the annual. So, so that's the tabs module here. And same thing with the toggle module. When I scroll down again, as I mentioned, it is a toggle that is customized with CSS to uh, look like a button. But then when you click, rather than just displaying a boring text box, it's displaying a short code that corresponds to a layout in the Divi library. So very powerful, so much that you can do with this plugin. These are just three examples um, using kind of these common use cases uh, with the tabs and the toggle module, but you can use it with the slider module. You can use it with the accordion module. You, it doesn't even have to be a module. You can use it with uh, other content within Divi. Uh, say for example, you're just using, um, you're using Gutenberg or you're using the classic editor for blog posts and uh, you don't wanna use Divi for the whole thing, but you do wanna input maybe a call to action or a contact form or something that you've, you've made with Divi, well now you can save it to your library and then uh, drop it in with that short code. So super powerful, super useful. Uh, we're really excited about this free plugin. Again, it's been kind of sitting there uh, in our members area. It doesn't get talked about a lot. Uh, and so we thought let's bring it out of hibernation and let's give it away to our audience, to Divi users to be able to use and full disclosure, there are similar plugins out there that have this type of functionality. Um, and so, we, again, we built ours back in 2018. Um, and so, you know, I don't think we were the first ones to do it. We're definitely not the last ones to do it. Uh, it's common. But the good thing about this one is it is 100% free. And we're giving you the layouts with it as well. So uh, really excited about uh, being able to give this to you. Um, so when you... Going back to the blog post here, uh, you can view the demo site that we just looked at. And then also if you click this button, this is how you get the plugin for free, which will take you to this page here. And so when you click get it free, it'll uh, show this pop-up overlay that we made with Divi overlays uh, with the form in it. And so when you put in your name and your email, it's gonna do two things. One, it's gonna send you a link to download the plugin and the layouts. So the layouts here, you're going to get for free. Uh, and then the second thing is it's going to subscribe you to the Divi Life email list. So you can unsubscribe at any time without penalty. However, I don't think you're going to want to because this month especially, we are releasing a ton of really cool stuff, freebies, uh, tutorials. We're going to do some updates 
to uh, some of our existing Divi products. And then at the end of the month, we have a lot of really exciting stuff happening with uh, some new products coming out, some really, really cool big new products that we've been working on for uh, well over a year now. So it's all coming this month. So definitely subscribe to the Divi Life email list if you're not already. And uh, you'll get this plugin, you'll get the other freebies, and uh, you'll you'll get uh, everything else that we're doing this month too. So, um, so that's how you get the, the the product here. One thing I want to say is, we use this product Divi Library shortcodes on our website here. So, on all of our product pages, we have a section here that kind of describes and shows examples of the product. And this is made in the Divi Library, and then it's plopped onto our product page with Divi Library shortcodes because our product pages have different dynamic content and stuff. And so we uh, we're using um, advanced custom fields and doing some creative things, but then we're using Divi Library shortcodes for this portion here, which is really nice. So uh, we practice what we preach. We use the products that we create on our own site. So, um, so that's that. Uh, hopefully you found this plugin helpful and uh, yeah, definitely uh, subscribe so you can be notified when we release the new tutorials and new products and everything that we're doing this month. So uh, thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.